This is a poem about uh, the time, always hazy, between uh, leaving. Okay. All right. Just working. The time between leaving, uh, say, Wahoo, the bar and grill, and getting home. <laughs> Uh, and there's a moment that comes, an epiphanic moment, when you reach the kebab van. And that's what this is about. It's called kebabs. The music stops, the light comes up, and Fascination Street is turned upon its head. We fall out groping for something that has happened, but everything slips away. We pour down streets and streets until we meet Hussein. The kebab van man, older than Odysseus and Achilles, and who knows only year after year of night time. He greets us as he has greeted the passing centuries, with a smile and a nod. He asks us what we want. We watch the fragments of the evening dripping from the spitting, spinning meat, and mixing with the pavement, and don't know what to say. One more poem, uh, it's also short. It's about a guy called Abelard, who was a monk in the 12th century, um, a great philosopher and logician, but more importantly, um, his dick got cut off. <laughs> um, don't be fooled by the elegiac tone. I think this is really funny. <laughs> Who could have known that all those books I read, those lifted thoughts, those gilded words, still led me to this moment of dismemberment, when manhood is cruelly severed from man. <laughs> the candlelight is caught in the cold steel of the knife you hold, the knife I brought, bore on my back, my cross, my destiny. Oh, my beloved bulimic. <laughs> How it recoils, like a frightened beast or as when it is doused in cold water. Will you not spare it one hour, grant it one more meal, one more chance to weep at the sight of a woman's beauty unadorned? <laughs> oh, my constant companion, who has risen before me each morning to spread the dew across the fields of my body. When you are gone, we must follow our own paths. I, directionless, rudderless Abelard, <laughs> will seek unknown, sirenless waters, and you, shipless rudder, <laughs> let loose like the head of a kite whose string is cut, will be cast aside to ripen and rot and rot. The knife draws near. Now comes the first incision. The very thought is more than I.